1912, the Titanic was a marvel of engineering and design, and yet it remains at the center of one of the worst disasters on the open ocean. In 2016, Song of the Deep from Insomniac Games will surely be lauded for some of its technical prowess, but if you're willing to follow this obvious maritime metaphor and capable of looking past the occasional hyperbole, well, I think you know where this is going. Song of the Deep is a Metroidvania-style action-adventure that follows Marin, a young girl on a quest to find her missing father at the bottom of the ocean. It's a triumph of art direction that sees Marin cruising her way through vibrant sea gardens, ancient clockwork ruins, and lush kelp forests. The use of color, texture, and animation combine with the omnipresent narrator to create a storybook feel that's utterly charming. Her father once told her about a mysterious, living energy called time. Could that have been a time wellspring? And yet, Song of the Deep somehow manages to squander this goodwill. Mechanically speaking, there's just nothing compelling once the player gets past the initial novelty of piloting a submarine. Most of the game's myriad puzzles range from bland to downright tedious, with its fair share of escort missions and time trials. Towards the end of the game, the largely puzzle-focused design is smattered with combat arenas that feel out of place and a hassle to get through. The Metroidvania stylings are in full effect, with plenty of places to revisit and optional puzzles to solve. It's just too bad that playing the game is such a chore that most will simply opt out. This is made even worse by the fact that fast travel points are so few and far between that even getting back to the old locations is an act of endurance. Song of the Deep looks great sounds great, is competently written, and yet it's still brought low by lackluster or poor design. It may not be quite the disaster that the Titanic was, but it does find itself unable to rise above the flaws of its design and remains instead sunk deep beneath the waves of mediocrity.